He had spent his last year at Art Center developing, I mean actually obsessing, over a personal project to craft the perfect sustainable and waterproof backpack. Spencer was determined to build a brand, not just a line of products. So he took classes in graphic design, advertising, film. And he took some time off to learn about the business of starting up new ventures, finding mentors and Art Center alumni who had experience in launching products. So in December of 2008, Spencer not only graduated with honors, but also opened her eyes to this emerging generation of design entrepreneurs. Instead of preparing a portfolio to seek employment, Spencer decided to create a showroom-like pop-up exhibition, inviting his ne network of mentors, buyers, merchandisers, and investors to check out his line of bags and backpacks. Shortly after graduating in January 2009, Spencer made his first sale out of his house, officially launching his company, and by the end of the year, releasing Kill Spencer's first line, the utility collection. Just two years later, in 2011, Spencer opened up shop in the downtown Los Angeles Arts District, designing and manufacturing all of his products in-house, bucking the trend of outsourcing and manufacturing overseas. And just a few months ago, we got to celebrate Spencer's grand opening of the new Kill Spencer storefront and workshop in Silver Lake. Spencer is a true craftsman at heart, dedicated to bringing a high level of performance, functionality, quality, and integrity into everything he does. Hence, Kill Spencer is a made in the USA company where Spencer and his team oversee the design and manufacturing of all of their handcrafted products. He is always on the search for innovative materials and processes and dedicated to making products that will last the test of time. Spencer has also extended his brand outside of his collections through select collaborations. Recent projects include the special Heineken backpack for the hashtag Heineken 100 program and creating an iPhone veil with illustrator, artist, and designer James Jean. Over the last few years, Spencer has given back to our Art Center community by mentoring students interested in starting up their own companies. He was the first alumnus in our DOT Launch Entrepreneurship Program to offer a hands-on apprenticeship for our students to learn the startup business. Thank you, Spencer, for being a role model and mentor for the next generation of design entrepreneurs. I also want to acknowledge your family that are here today for their undying support in your journey over the years. While we are thrilled to be honoring you today with the Young Innovator Award, we are equally excited to see what you're up to for the next years to come. Please join me on stage, Spencer, for to accept your award. something written on my Moleskine page that I ripped out of my sketchbook. Um, I just want to say thank you very much to Karen and Fred and Lauren. Um, I'm really humbled to be up here next to uh, the leg legendary Stan Kong and um, all the amazing um, Art Center faculty. You guys have had a big influence on me and I'm really, really grateful. Uh, in particular, I want to thank Scott Robertson, Nick Hoffermoss, um, Tyler Garland for introducing me to um, my first mentor outside of the program, Bobby Chang, Rick Panigua at Caltech, Grant Delgatti, uh, Matteo Neri uh, for all your continued encouragement and guidance. And I also want to thank uh, Norm Sherman. Graduates, uh, congrats. Uh, you guys made it. It's like you guys got through your education. Um, it's a quite an accomplishment. You should be really proud and now you're on to the real world. Um, you've achieved one big goal, but um, now that this goal has been achieved, what's next? Um, now's the time to go out and put in the hard work that's going to separate you from the masses. Take a look at all the other graduates. Uh, this is a community. It's a community that needs to be respected and cherished. And when you leave here, you now, <clears throat> excuse me, you now represent the Art Center community. Um, and this comes with a big responsibility. Uh, don't do things you will regret. Now is the time to celebrate your achievements with your friends and family. I wouldn't be here without mine. Um, thanks mom and dad and Danielle for all your love. Love you guys. Um, and 
now it's time for like, you know, for balance. You can finally uh, work normal hours, get lots of sleep, eat healthy and exercise. You're gonna need that for your career. Um, my dad always told me to keep your head in the clouds and um, keep your feet on the ground. The real world isn't easy. Building your dream is tough. If starting and running a company was easy, everyone would be doing it. Uh, so look up to your heroes, emulate them, and learn from them. Steve Jobs said, love what you do, love what you make, and make it to perfection. Dita Rams said, less but better. And Walt Disney said, if you can dream it, you can build it. Art Center gave us all the skills to dream. So I encourage you to dream big, take risks, and have fun, because uh, today is the beginning of a new journey. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations to all three incredible alumni who do so much to embody the mission of this great institution. And now I would like to introduce Bob Davidson, Chairman of the Art Center's Board of Trustees, who will officially initiate